Okay, uh, here we are again, and today we are going to be drawing this uh, horse right here. So let's set the timer. There we go, 20 minutes. So this is a good view, it'll give me a lot of insight as to how the structures fit together. I'm starting from the belly, why? So that's how I roll. So uh, in his book, I think it's uh, Figure Drawing for All It's Worth, uh, Andrew Loomis gives some, uh, uh, I don't think the head's going to fit in here. <laughs> All right, it's just bigger than fit. It'll be okay. Adjust this a little bit. Um, <laughs> uh, he talks about... Um, how to keep uh, life in the limbs when you're uh, doing figure drawing. This applies to animals too. Uh, for example, if you have a figure like this guy, you don't want to draw the limbs as just sticks. You want to draw them curved. Uh, because the more and more you refine, the stiffer things tend to get. Um, and so you want to keep as much uh, life in the limbs uh, throughout the process as possible. I really hope this horse's head is going to fit in here. We will find out. Okay, just getting the rough uh, idea in here, yeah. I'll have to make the horse's head fit. <laughs> I think it's something like that, yeah. If we fold it down. Yeah, it should be right here. It should be okay. So I'm just measuring the... Uh, the length of the, the height of the head and the neck compared to the body uh, as seen on the screen. So I think it should be okay. <laughs> I hope it'll be okay. So again, the springy little legs. So they help keep some movement in there. And it's actually too long, so let's shorten that. In the beginning stages, you want to be really non-committal. I have no problem being non-committal. I think I'm getting used to this process. Even talking uh, while drawing, I feel a lot more comfortable uh, getting these shapes down. And we'll see how it turns out ultimately. But. You really see the shape of the skull in here it goes out with the jaw and then in right here with this, uh, this upper jawbone. We saw that with the uh, when we we're making the uh, we're drawing the skull a while back. You see the diamond shape, right? top plane of the head, or the front plane. This is the top plane or front plane, we're going to call it the front, or the, excuse me, the top. Since it's a horse and all. And again, I don't get the ears. It's hair coming in here. The mane in the back actually curves up. Behind the hair like that. It's a little bit thicker right here. And I wish I had hair like that. I guess some people do actually. Wrong angle. 
angle. Wrong angle for the ankle. Actually, I don't. What is this? Is this the ankle or just just the foot? Is this the ankle? The heel? Okay, we've got our basic shape, and it's actually uh, coming together pretty nicely. All this uh, practicing every day, actually, or mostly every day. Practicing regularly really, really helps. I'm, I'm pretty stoked <laughs> just by getting that in pretty easily. It's even less sketchy than before. Still sketchy, though. It is a pencil sketch, after all. Knees are just little boxes, huh? They are indeed knees. I'm not really sure what they are. Just joints right here. Uh, some part of me wishes I had drawn this in ink now. Been a little bit more impressive. <laughs> this is foreshortened. Okay. So these are very different lengths. Oh, this one is going back that way. Okay, that makes sense. So I gotta show more of the back of this hoof. There we go. back plane of that leg you can see facing up uh, hopefully I can get this right you can see the dirt on the hooves too So when I was drawing, uh, I believe that was yesterday, yeah, yesterday, the rear end of the horse. So this part is the further, furthest in the longest extent of the horse, I guess you could say. It comes up here. There's a little, you can see the spine coming up, and then it goes down to the tail, which is lower than I thought it was. I found that yesterday. I was drawing the skeletal structure, the bones. This tail is going to be a pain. Uh, one tip on drawing hair, in case you're interested, um, uh, it's very tempting to just draw different strands, which uh, can work in some situations, but generally you want to draw from the root all the way down to give it the sense of flow. <laughs> I'm not very, really succeeding at this point, but I'll have to refine that later or leave it there. It's not a major point, so let's get to the good stuff. Muscles. Some 
getting rid of the structure, the underlying structure that I made for myself, and getting into some more uh, detail. <laughs> this really reminds me of a drumstick. Thinking about chicken. Not because I'm black or anything, but because I like chicken. It's just a coincidence. Am I even allowed to say that these days? I'm not really sure anymore. I haven't even drawn the face. I've got nine minutes. Ah, oh, this part of the chest is much wider than I thought. Oh, that makes sense. But I can fix it, I think. That just comes out a little bit like that, so it should be okay. I'm sure you guys noticed this, uh, <laughs> uh, you all noticed this a lot faster than I did, but when you're actually drawing it, it's, sometimes you just don't notice. For reference, ideally you would have the reference right in front of you, but uh, I'm looking up at a screen up here. So you lose some in the process, unfortunately. Go slips in a little bit, just a little bit like that. This horse looks a little older. <laughs> um, I'm not really sure if you can tell uh, how well you can tell about a horse's age, how well you can tell a horse's age, um, but this horse looks older. I'm just going to put it out there. Breathing hard, I guess. Mouth. Horses' mouths are hard to draw. Let's do this little, little practice and get some time. So this top jaw comes down. Top jaw is pretty simple. Okay, it's not so bad. Bit of line. More space in there. Oh. And there's some light over here, obscuring the edge, or rather defining the edge, really. There's the bottom jaw. Just kind of comes out of nowhere. There's the brown part over here, and then black and gray. Basic shapes. Let's make it a little more angular and refine it. It's got whiskers. The horse whiskers. And that goes down. Okay. Yeah, breaking things into basic shapes uh, helps quite a bit. Be a little deeper than that. It's 
secret uh, And the eyes, four minutes left. Let's draw this back guy over here first. One of the things that really uh, endear me to horses are the, the, la the eyelashes. This is uh, it's nice. Let's get this last eye over here. So slightly elevated compared to this one. So the ridge is right here. It goes around. That seems about right. If a little small. It's a little small, but yeah. It's close. I'll fill it in and see if it looks. Uh, yeah, it's a little off. Yeah. This whole face is a little off. Now that I look at it. Too long. No, not necessarily too long. I guess the other eye is too small. It's throwing everything off. Uh, if you have any good tips, then uh, please let me know. <laughs> Hopefully your advice can travel through time and save me, because I only have two minutes. Put the edge of the eye here. That's a little better. Okay. Thanks for the advice. Okay, and um, yeah, that's probably it. all the major details I'm going to have time for. Oh, not bad. Clean this up a little bit. Get rid of this second mouth. seconds. <laughs> yeah, more or less uh, made it in time this time, so that's good. Beautiful creature. I just realized I didn't finish this leg. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. 
I, actually, when you're drawing, you really want to draw attention to one point in particular, and um, usually that's the most clearly defined area. Which uh, I'll try and make that to the face right now. In fact. Over time. Probably shouldn't go into tone because uh, it's going to throw everything off right now. Yeah, yeah I thought I had the mouth down, but uh, maybe not. Maybe I did not have it down. Let's very quickly just uh, shade in this hair, the shadow parts. That'll help bring uh, more attention to this area as well. the eyes too. Now uh, this pencil is a two millimeter um, lid. I really like it. I think it's two millimeter. Um, I think that's what it is. I have a few. But this is, I believe, the two millimeter one. Finish drawing this here a little bit and we'll be call it an evening because it is past 11 o'clock. too much detail to the tail. I don't want to draw too much attention to it since it's uh, <laughs> incomplete. Okay, but yeah, that's uh, that's my horse. Man, yeah, this was a lot easier than uh, the last one I did. Even though this is a more difficult pose. Uh, position perspective so, yeah I am um, I think I might be getting better I'm excited so we'll see what happens uh, as I keep practicing practice makes better <laughs> okay yeah we'll stop right there and um, there she blows Okay, uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys later. Bye.